Hey everyone, this is Dr. Baron Grutter. I'm just making a quick video to go over some mobile apps uh, that will enable you to look at STL files from your phone. Uh, that is if you have an Android phone, uh, iPhone, iToys, whatever you want to call them. I believe I have some of their same, these same apps, uh, probably some more. Um, but anyway, I've gone over, I've looked at a, quite a few of these apps and um, these are the best four that I've found so far. They all have their own unique um, uh, pros and cons to them, so I'll try to go through these pretty quickly. Uh, Fusion 360 is actually an, um, an Autodesk product, so it's got a, you know, a very strong, um, sorry, a very strong uh, support. I mean, it's a, it's a big company that makes a lot of good products. So the problem with the rendering is if you look at it, it's, well, it's kind of terrible. You'll see by comparison to all the other ones, um, this is almost non-functional. Um, it, the nice things about it is it has some nice tools. It has a sc screen capture, uh, has the, the ability to annotate images, um, and it's also got tools for measuring things. So you can actually measure distances and diameters of holds and whatnot. But uh, the rendering um, makes it almost useless. So I've actually reached out to Autodesk about seeing why this is, see if there's any way to improve this. Um, but for now, I would say it's non functional, but it's got good promise. So come back to the home screen. Uh, CAD Assistant is probably my favorite one right now. Uh, it only runs in landscape, so that's a, you know, disappointing. However, um, it still uh, it, it's going to be the best viewer, I believe. You can see the obviously the surface texture is much nicer to look at. You can look at everything pretty well. There's some nice little tools over here as far as orienting. Um, and you can sort of change the way you move things around. Um, it's anyway, it gets, um, yeah, there's, so there's different little tricks to use this, um, diff, uh, to move things around differently and spe specify how you can move it around and how you can't. But anyway, um, so um, this is probably my favorite one so far. But there is no way to, there is, so, you can't annotate, you can put notes on it, but you can't. Um, actually take measurements with this app. And then the next one would be um, NetFab, which is a um, is a uh, good program on the computer on a PC as well. Um, but it's pretty basic. It doesn't look quite as pretty uh, as the other one, but um, it works pretty well. And it's got all these the same uh, alignment uh, viewers buttons. Um, but that's about it. Um, it. It does have the ability up top, this little cloud at the very top, to um, repair a file if you have holes in it or whatever. Uh, one thing you will notice is as you turn it, if you try to reorient it, it has to reload the STL. But again, you can see the uh, repair button up top. So I don't really use this one, but I think that um, it has some promise. NetFab's repair tool is actually used in a lot of other programs. Um, including Mesh Mixer, which is an Autodesk product. They license out their repair function from NetFab. So, okay. And then if we go, the last one is Fast STL Viewer. Now, this one is just very fast. Um, it's open it's a, uh, incredibly quickly, um, but it's really just a viewer. You're not going to do much with it. You can't do any sort of annotations. Um, but you can you can take screenshots with just your own phone's auto function and then annotate from there if you wanted. But uh, it's pretty basic. This I mean this is definitely the, the simplest of all of them, but it's also the fastest at loading. So and some files can be pretty big and really um, take a while to load. So that could be a definite uh, strength for this app, uh, a reason to keep it on board. I would say uh, it takes less than half a second to load some, uh, most of these guided files. So, all right, I hope that's of interest to some of you. Uh, at least if there's any other dorks out there that like to just play with this stuff on their phones even.